you know what time it is. So we had H Day 2024, spring 2024, man. And uh got my boy Mike with me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who he is. We got his uh his his fifth gen that I flexed. And then of course we got the fourth gen and that boy Donovan in the building. You know what I'm saying? It's been a while. Been a while, been a while. But yeah, we at Maryland International Raceway, man. And uh, you see it's on the trailer, right? Why would it be on the trailer? You answer me that. You saw the title of the video. Let's get right into it. So, brought the wife's truck out. It's kind of kind of a wild sight to see <laughs> this truck pulling the prelude. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? The GV80 Twin Turbo 3.5. You know what I'm saying? Plenty of power to tow the Prelude. I was actually surprised. But, yeah. We in there. We bit, we're about to go inside and uh, check in. This year was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I didn't come yesterday. Today's Saturday. But uh, I'm doing bracket racing. And uh, we're going to get to it, man. So we got teched in, as you can see, we got them wiped down, we got the slicks on there, we ready to go. Hey yo Mike, she looking mean bro, look at that joint, what, that joint clean bro. So yeah, uh, we're both doing bracket racing, and uh, it's sponsored by Eat Sleep Race, you know what I'm saying. But uh, we uh, checked the two-step. Both of the cars ready to go, man. Can't wait. Prelude is repping this year, bro. first pass and you guys saw from the footage on the GoPro angle um, I almost money shifted in from third to second I think I caught it in time motors good starts right up sounds good um, so we just got to hit fourth ran a 12 7 which is a, a new PB if I want to be um, on the positive side but if I would have caught fourth and made a clean pass I think would have been a high 11 so Goal for the day is 11:50, man. So all you gotta do is eat, sleep, and race. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it.
first pass, I'm on the right side. Did a 12-7. Um, this was, uh, you guys saw the shift, the miss shift um, for this one. Kind of coasted past the eighth, from the eighth on. And um, this was the second hit. I'm on the right again. And uh, did a little bit better. I was able to, I still kind of granny shifted. I don't think I had, I forgot to press record on the GoPro clip inside. But I, I pretty much granny shifted again because that first time kind of shook me up. But um, definitely a cleaner pass. But I think with 11.50 being my goal for today, I think if I can get a, a, like just dial it in, I think I can do it. So let's see what we can do. Hey, so it's day two, man. Exciting day. Quick recap. Um, I don't know what you guys saw in the last clip. <laughs> Hey, can you drive for me? Can you race for me? I'm tired. Oh yeah, he's ready. See that? Look at that. Look at that look in his eye. He wants to win. You gotta shift gears. Shift gear. Right here. Shift it. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that's tough. All right, so basically what we got is um, I got a lot of footage of like actual going down the track, but I know I hadn't tapped in in a minute. Uh, we are in semifinals for bracket one, four or thirteen ninety nine and faster. My dial time is eleven nine five, and I've been pretty much on the money. So I think there's like five or four cars left. So I just, just came out here to have fun, man. If I can actually win this, that's crazy. But um, yeah, man, cars been driving great. Shout out to Matt. You know what I'm saying? Matt Shoe, tune the car. And uh, let's get it. Eric's back. Seven, so we should be four to go. Yeah, it's four to go. Yeah, we should be four. Look, I'm at an map right now. I'm on an Alchemap for three hours of sleep, and I've been up since four to the clock. Hey, so I'm not 100% sure what you guys saw in the last clip, but essentially Saturday only got two hits. I ran a 12-7, miss shifting. You guys saw that clip. Second, I think I actually missed the interior clip, but I have clips of me going down the track from um, friends and, and stuff that was recording. And I think that uh, that was when I ran the 11-9, the first 11-9. Sunday, um, we got, I got one hit before eliminations. Now, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I've been to Honda Day a bunch of times, and I've never seen that many racers. So between having what I think probably an extra 100 to 150 racers. Cause I, last year I feel like I was like maybe 200 racers. This year was like three, they still might said over 350. So the racing this year was huge. Let me just say that. So that means less time on the track, less hits, more breakdowns, which takes more time to clean up, things like that. I think there were a few crashes, but everybody came out um, alive and, and healthy for the most part, for, as far as what I know. But Sunday, we only got one hit, and then it was straight to eliminations, which didn't even start until 6 o'clock, bro. Normally, they're wrapping up by 6 o'clock, and they, they present the winners of the races um, with the trophies for Sunday's car show awards. But, <laughs> so anyway, um, skipping to what happened, first round of, um, first round of eliminations, I go up against a Civic. That was uh, dial time was I think 10:50. I treated him and ran a 12:0 flat pretty much. I ran a 12:0 with a three against him. Pretty much ran my dial time right on the money. Uh, second round I went up against this like Civic uh, female driver. Um, by the time I got through second, I looked back and she was behind me and I saw uh, like a little cloud of smoke. So I kind of let off, coasted to like a 13. Then I got a bye with like seven racers left, which put me in the um, the final four. So out of like 50 cars in the bracket one, bro, I made it to the final four, which this is the stuff that you don't know because I don't think I recorded anything. And by this time, everybody had already left, so I didn't have anybody to record for me. And I was up against this yellow type uh, R Civic, and his dial time was 13.50. And for you, uh, for everybody who doesn't know about like quarter mile and how bracket racing works, they stagger the tree based on your dial time. So if somebody's slower than you, then the light's going to turn green for them before it turns green for you. What that means is if you're the faster car, you got to go get that slower car. You got to go, you got to go catch them and reel them in. So that's what I did. <clears throat> I think I, I think my reaction time was like, like a one nine, maybe a two something, which is not terrible, not great, but uh, went through first, started gaining a little bit, because by the time 
my light turned green. He was already probably like a bus length away. So at least what it seemed like. And then by the time I got to second gear, I started pulling on a little bit more. And then third gear, you know, third gear is when that boost kick in. You know what I'm saying? Full boost kicked in and I reeled him in. Like it was like, bro, it was like video game. Like, you know how in Fast and Furious where they be like, too soon, Junior. It was like I hit the Nas on him. So, and I just reeled him in, bro. So by the time I shifted into fourth, he was at my bumper. His front bumper was at my rear bumper is what it seemed like. Maybe his door. And then when fourth hit, bro, I pulled away so quick and then quickly realized, bro, I might break out. So the moment I realized that, I let off the gas. I let off the gas, crossed the finish line before him. There's no question about that. And at MIR, they have lights on either side. And when the light lights up on your side, that lets you know as a driver that you won. I saw his light go off and my heart dropped into my stomach. And I was like, I broke out. Then I got excited. I was like, if I broke out, because my dial time was 1195 at that point. I had switched it from 12 to 1195. And I was like, oh, if I broke out, slowing down, what the heck did I run? I ran 1192. So I broke out by point, what is it, three thousandths of a second which is crazy, bro. So all I had to do was like literally tap the brakes or pull the e-brake real quick and I would've, yeah. But anyway, so that was the final four race. That Type R Civic did end up going to win the bracket class in the next round against, I think it was a RX, RSX. Not sure what his dial time was, but I was right there, man. So I'm really proud of myself and I'm really proud of the pre, how the prelude performed. I was out there repping for us, man. I was repping for the lose, and I don't think I did too bad. And um, I gotta say, I had a lot of fun, man. H Day, if you've never been, you are missing out. I'll tell you that. Um, Mike actually did, he ran um, a 13 flat on his first time ever on the track, ever on slicks. He did really good. I tried to coach him through some things, but I told him ultimately, bro, just go have fun. That's what he did. He ran a 13 flat, and it was fun, man. I can't wait till the next one. <sighs> I got some more track events planned, man. Just stay tuned. My my goal was for this car was to win H Day in first place. Done that a few times. I wanted it to make 600. Been at 600 for about two years now, and my final goal was to be able to run an 11.50. I'm almost there but with that being said you see that right there that's the subscribe button go ahead and hit that and i'll see y'all on the next one i like to ride in my two-seater